Oh, snap. Look what it is, guys. It's Mother 3. Surprise! I bet you didn't expect this. So anyways, let me get to the point here. Welcome to Let's Play Mother 3, my friends. And it will be blind, of course. You already know. So, why is Funky G surprising you with this so soon? Because I may have mentioned that I... Okay, first of all, this got voted and won as the Let's Play you guys wanted me to do next. So, I've been kind of chomping at the bit to get it started. Second of all, I straight up said that I didn't want to start it until I knew whether or not Nintendo was going to release an official fans, not an official fan translation, no, an official translation of the game for English. I still don't know if that's going to happen or not. It's still a very big rumor that may or may not happen. But I'm not waiting until April to find out, or even June in E3. We're not waiting that long. I already said we're going to start this in April. So even if they wait till June to announce it and it ends up becoming true, I don't care. By that time, we might even be done with the game. Regardless of that, let's stop talking about what was going to be, and let's talk about what is, and that is the beginning of Let's Play Mother 3. New game, baby. Let's get it cracking. Oh, this is good stuff. All right, so I'm aware of what this guy's name, but he's the younger twin bro. Wait, he's a twin bro? Oh, I didn't know he was a twin bro. Anyway, I'm very aware of who this kid is. This is Lucas. We know this. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just name him Lucas. When I played Earthbound, for those of you who didn't know, I already played Earthbound, so that's why I'm playing this. Um, I left all the names default. You know, I left, I left Ness and Paula and Pooh and Jeff's names all alone. I'll probably do the same with this game. Uh, barring some other things anyway the older twin brother an energetic boy can we put don't care Klaus his name's Klaus all right well then Klaus it is you know what can we go back can we can we change our mind because I I mean I assume he's Lucas you anyway, know let's say don't care and see what happens all right the strong kind and dependable father he looks like Tex is his name Tex Flint all right there's a girl that must be the mom. The beloved mother. Her name's Hinawa. Okay. Mom's name's Hinawa. So we got Lucas. Uh, what was his brother? I did. Lucas, Klaus, Flint, and Hinawa. Okay. And the brave and smart dog. What did he? What? What is his default name? Bony. Bony. Okay. If his name's just Bo. I laugh at the name Boney. That's a good name. Nah, but you know what? Just like in the last game, I will name the dog Bonky. Uh, Bonky. By the way, this is the fan translated version of the game, By the, if I didn't mention that already. We're playing it on an emulator. I know. I know. I try not to play emulated games. Not for any bad reason. I mean, my first, like, four or five Let's Plays are all... No, like, five... Like, a lot of my first, like... Actually, like six or seven Let's Plays, they're all off emulators, so there's no excuse. I'm just mentioning that. I'd let, I mean, you know, when you get a capture device, you just don't want to do emulators anymore if you can help it. But this game, there was no way around it. Anyways, I'm going to name the dog Funky G. I think I named him just Funky in my Earthbound playthrough, but that's because Funky G wouldn't fit or, like, I had to squish it together. This one I can put a space, so yeah. What is your favorite homemade food? Well, those of you who watched me play. The last game, you already know what my favorite food is. That shit is tacos all day long. And it's still tacos. That has not changed. So we're going to fucking eat the shit out of some tacos, baby. And what is your favorite thing? I mean, some shit just doesn't change, guys. Some shit, it just doesn't change. It, it, it doesn't change. It never changes. It's the thing. It's my favorite. It can't change. How can you change your favorite thing unless your favorite thing becomes obsolete or irrelevant? Or This is not a thing that will ever change. It's never going to change. I'm sorry. So that's my favorite thing. I'm not even going to say the word. You read it. You know what it means. Let's just move on from there, shall we? I will read it out loud plenty by the time this Let's Play is over. Let's not spoil it by saying it a bunch here in the first episode. All right. Tech speed. Medium. Um, let's go with fast because usually... 
I'll, I'll be trying to skip dialogue or at least trying to not skip it but uh, try to read it faster window color what kind of ooh, minty strawberry banana peanut grape and melon let's just go plain for now if I don't like the color I'll probably be able to change it later same with the text speed all right so Lucas Klaus Flint Hinawa funky G favorite thing food tacos favorite thing vagina and text speed fast is this okay I think it is. You guys ready for this? Get hyped! Sound effects for the win, baby. Alright, so I'm trying to have the volume up loud enough so I can hear it, because a lot of people told me the music in this game, even better than Earthbound. And Earthbound's music was quirky, but I wouldn't say amazing. But I've heard this music's good, so shh. Already got a rockin' tune going here. I like this. Oh, yeah. Nowhere Islands. Okay. This song's kind of epic. I like it. It's very determination. Very a song filled with determination. Tasmili Village or Tasmili? Ta Tasmili? Tas Tasmili Village? I don't know. Rock and song. Dude. Song is good. It's got me good. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Beyond the Sunshine Forest. All right. Beyond. We got slowing down. We got the breakdown. We got chickens and pigs and cows. Oh my. Home of Alec. He now was father. Oh, does that make it Lucas's grandfather? Knock knock. Who's there? Wake up! Protagonist of game, wake up! Lucas! How long are you gonna sleep? Get up so we can play! Get up already! The Dragos brought their babies over! They're really cute! Hurry up! Alright, fine. God. You can rush me, bro. Alright, here we go. This looks fun. <laughs> No problem here. This is straight up Earthbound, but a little bit better looking because it's on a Game Boy. I wouldn't even say better. It's just different coloring. Game Boy games are always brighter in color. Like, all the sprite colorings are just so much brighter. Anyway, not a lot to look at. No problems here, if you know what I'm saying. Let's just go downstairs and say what's up to my bro and my mommy. Hey, mommy. Good morning, my sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up for a while playing with Dragos. Or with the Dragos. Who the hell are the Dragos? Said they brought their kids over? I don't even know what that is. Like, are they gonna be like, like, what's his face and what's his face from next door? The brothers from next door? What the hell are they called? Porky and. Shit, what was the brother brother's name? I already forgot the other brother's name. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. Okay, Mom, God. Jeez. Okay, see, we look cooler in these clothes, anyways. Alright. Got our hair perfectly quaffed and we're good. Is this okay, Mommy? You're much manlier now. Go have fun. Oh, thanks, Mom. So manly when your mom tells you you're manly. Seriously. And the bright, shiny world is it. It's looking colorful. I like it. So, is this Alec or what? Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you go head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too, Grandpa. I think. I'm assuming that's Grandpa. He now was mom, or I mean, father would make it uh, Lucas's grandpa. Anyway, no problems there. Oink, oink, pig. What the pig to me says, wait, what the pig next to me says worries me. Wait, we can understand the pig? Don't worry about it. Okay. Moo. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. It'll be handy to remember that. Oh, will it? Will it? It's that all cows, no matter what they're thinking, go moo. Are we going to come across a point at which the there will be not cows? Cluck, you late riser. You're awake, Cluck. Yeah, I am. No problems here. I'm, I'm too much of a explore everything kind of guy, for real, though. I can't help myself sometimes. All right, what do we got going on around here? Anybody? Anybody? Bro? 
Klaus, where are you? Und Klaus, where are you? Apparently not on this screen. All right, let's just keep going down, down south. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. <laughs> really? Okay. Don't go that way. There's ants. You don't want to kill ants unless you're a murderer. You're not a murderer, are you? There's a frog over here. A story is a series of memories. Oh. I, I can't do a frog voice right now. If I could do a Kermit the Frog... I guess I can kind of do a Kermit the Frog. Memories are remembered with other memories and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. Kremit the Frog. I can do one, but not today. I just can't do, like, crazy voices today. So please tell us, frogs, your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then. Oh, we can save the game at the frog. Oh. Save frogs. Okay. As opposed to books? Or wait, how did we save it in Earthbound? At ends, right? There was no save points? Where are we? Wait, there were save points. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Kremit the Frog. Here. Kremit the Frog here. I need to work on that. I can do one. I've just, I'm, I can't, for some reason my voice is just not, have, not inflecting well today. What the fuck? Those are definitely Dragos, as in they look like dinosaurs to me. What the hell? They look awesome. I want one. And who the fuck is this other green? Is that a baby one? I'm confused. I guess Whew, I'm beat. Bet. I've been playing. I've been play fighting with the dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Sure, let's play. Literally. Here, try ramming into a drago. Is that how we play? Alec, uh, Klaus. I said Alec. Klaus. Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Wait, what? That's a thing can ram into things. Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button. And then hold that B button for a second and let go. Do this will let you dash. And by using this dash ability, you can ram into that Drago there. Wow, show him an example. Sure, show me how to press the B button, bro. Boom. <laughs> yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. It looks like you're hitting that fucking dragon right in the nuts, and he's just fucking going, Ow. You'll never succeed with such a solid look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. All right. Fine. Let's do it. Huh? Yeah. Did it. I win. What do I win? Hit him right square in the balls. Victory. Whoa. Ha-ha. <laughs> Your ram attacks don't work on me, Lucas. Oh, I was trying to talk to him. Sorry. The harder you run into him, the more the dragos like it. Wait, what? Mole cricket? Move it! Out of my way! Make way for the great mole cricket! Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. What? Huh? What the hell is happening right now? I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all of you! Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain! What is ha What is happening right now? What? Random battle? Okay. You encountered a mole cricket. All right. Well, um, we can bash. We can goods them. We can guard them, and we can run. Well, I mean, what better thing to do than bash them, huh? What, what, what do you say? Bash them. Klaus, same thing. You bash them too. Bash them. Klaus attacks. Mmm. Get wrecked. Lucas, same shit. Mole cricket used a biting attack. Ow. Bastard. For that, I bash you again. I like this battle music way better than the Earthbound battle music already. The Earthbound rap battle music was just weird. Anyway, we fucking wrecked that mole cricket. You won! Lucas and company earned two experience points. All right, cool. Good start. Play fighting. We bashed the hell out of him. Stupid mole cricket. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the big mole cricket hole stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Bro. Oh, he said bro. He said bro. He used the word bro. I heard him. I heard him. Uh, okay. Hey, Mom. How you doing? I stepped on a mole cricket. I hope it's all right. Yeah, I hope so, too. It's okay. He's a, kind of a weirdo, anyways. Lunch is ready, everyone. I made you your favorite, favorite boys. Tacos! 
Whoop whoop tacos! Ooh, lunch, lunch, tacos! Dude, can't fucking. I, that's what I do every time. I run. You too, Dad. Alright. You too, Dad. You good there, Alec? You good there, bro? Now then! You looking at me or you. Listen, folks. Here's how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. It's not too tedious for tro or troublesome, so you should talk to frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Breaking that fourth wall, baby. Gotta love it. Hey, wait for me. I love tacos. You saved some from tacos, too. Save me some tacos, too, I hope. Huh? So, don't want to fuck up that dialogue. Then again, he could be an old, confused man talking to me or you guys, but not to his grandchildren and daughter. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, tacos? Then your favorite is the same as ours. We make a good match. Mm-hmm. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Okay, Mom. Don't be silly. I bet the kids could make it here on their own if that it's that safe. Okay. I bet even you can handle Lucas. <laughs> okay, so does that mean she's gonna go home without us? Is that what's happening right now? Okay. Uh, is I, I'm assuming this is this is this is Hinawa. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is, Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Taz Millie Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. You stink like shit, is what I'm trying to say here. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite tacos right away. With love, your dearest Hinawa. Aw, what a nice letter from hu from wife to Hubsend. It's a very nice letter. Very nice letter. I mean, they don't have cell phones, right? It's 2006 when this game came out, and they still don't have cell phones? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Oh, it's a pigeon letter. Okay. Pigeon letter. Or some kind of bird. Going with pigeon until I know otherwise. Alright, so... Uh-oh. And this is when shit starts to hit the fan already, huh? You hear that music in the background? It's kind of faint as it, as that whatever the hell that was went by. Is that a UFO? Or what the hell was that shit? Just kind of floated on by. And there it is, the intro, Mada 3. Are you guys hyped yet? Are you hyped yet? Are you hyped yet? <laughs> I'm trying to contain some of this hype. Contain the hype. All right, come on now. Is this it? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stare at this because this music is triumphant, triumphant as hell. I'm just gonna let it go. Just let it go. All right, there it is. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Uh oh, that's probably not good. Oh, oh, the, oh, that's probably not good. No, no, that's probably not good at all. Listen to that music, though. Straight up TMNT music right there. That dude's ready to fight, though. He's got a fucking log in his arms. Oh, shit. What the hell? Is that a warthog? Warthogs, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, and a deer? What the heck was that? Whoa, what the heck are those people? Is that what they're running from? What the hell are those guys? The aliens? What the hell are they? Weird is what they are, and what the hell did they- Oh! Well, now we know who's dropping bombs, but what the freak are those guys? Oh, jeez. Someone doesn't like the forest. Someone didn't watch their, their Smokey the Bear commercials and take them to heart. Panic mode music when shit is hitting the fan, man. Every 
he's freaking out. What the hell's going on? Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Oh, that does not, that's not a good start. You can't start with a funeral. Don't make me sad right away. Who's this guy? Oh, he's the alarm. Everybody, wake up! We're under attack! Those are explosions! Flood! 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 It's a fire! A fire! A fire! The Sunshine Force is on fire and a huge fiery flamey fire! Oh god. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. This guy is way too, way too cowboy looking to not do western accent. So if Flint's gonna talk and he's not gonna be a silent protagonist, I didn't know realize we could start moving, but uh, then I'm definitely gonna give him a damn country accent, you know that, that normal, that normal country accent, yo. I'll see what kind of comes out when it, when the when the time is right. But for now, you can't take a nap on this bed. Take a quick rest. Oh, you can take a nap. Sorry. All right, I'm not gonna take a nap. Let's just go. All right, dude, calm down, calm down. You gotta do something quick, Flint. It's the forest. The forest. The forest is on fire. Yeah, I heard you, dude. Calm down, dude. Jeez, who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint. Dude, calm down. I didn't even lock it. You're probably pu pushing it the wrong way. Ah, the doorknob. Why'd you have to come off at a time like this? Because you're stupid. Stupid ass. Ah, doorknob. I mean, Flint. This is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the Sunshine Forest. Okay. I heard you. Calm your tits. Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please come, Flint. Please. Okay, sure. Thomas joined the party. Okay, cool. We got Thomas. Sounds good. Let's go. Me and Thomas together. I'll follow behind you. What? What's wrong with that? I happen to like following behind people. All right. Fucking follower over here. All right. And away we go. Hey, you gonna go with this monkey? He's hiding something inside his doghouse. What is he hiding? Flint got a stick. Well, all right. Hey, Flint! Yeah? That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first, though. Just holding on to it makes it as useful as a caramel. A caramel, which is also probably a healing item, as it was in a previous Earthbound game. So, okay. A weapon, a stick. Ah, uh, there we go. Got that ordinary hat, plus three defense, yo. Alright. I don't think I have any other things to equip, though. Alright, then. Moving on, shall we? Do do do, should up do do, should up do. Well, where am I going? I don't know. I'm just moving around. No problems here. <laughs> All right, to the flamey forest on fire, or should we call that an episode? Hmm, it's tempting. It is tempting. Let's go for a few more minutes, shall we? I believe I just saved it twice, but whatever. Oh well. Please be careful out there. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the, Kermit, Kermit the Frog here. I can do one, man. I swear I can do a Kermit the Frog voice. I swear it. All right, presents. Flint opened the present. He got some nut bread. Mmm, that does not sound tasty. Unless it's banana nut bread, in which case, hell to the yeah. All right, so what do we got going on over here? Yo, bro. Ah, oh, Flint, it's Biff. The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke. All right, well then, we should probably go that way. In a tech, let me look over here. I don't leave any presents behind if I can. Okay, that's all. That's that be all. Let's go to the north then. We'll be gone. All right, what's going on over here? If the forest catches on fire, Klaus and Lucas and Hinawa will be stuck out there. Yeah, well. A sunshine fire. It's on fire. Uh, uh, it's on fire. Well, wait. The forest sunsh the sunshine source is on tire. Oh God, Jesus! Somebody's freaking out. Hasn't been used for whatever reason. What is it? A mailbox? Thomas's Bazaar. We got the goods, and the goods got you. Now isn't the time for that. We can't go buy things. Come on, man. So I guess we can't go in any houses. So let's not be too exploratory right now. Let's just talk to people who are actually outside. Ah, Flint. Sunshine Force is on fire. Uh, um, should I maybe give you a hand too? Sure, if you want to come help. Uh, wait. Um, I'm actually pretty busy, you know? You know, I mean, um, you know how it is. Sorry. 
I'll leave everything to you today, Flint. Flint. <laughs> you useless bastard. Offer your services, and then change your mind when I say yes, please. They're saying the Sunshine Forest is on fire. If that's true, we better get our butts out of here before the fire engulfs our village, too. True that. Thomas! What are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly, now. You'd better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. These scary... F ah, not these ladies again. Mr. Flint, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's what kind of fun a person he is. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. It looks like Porky's mom, man. Porky's mom, man. That lady was nuts. She was creepy looking as hell. <clears throat> Just hearing there was a uh, fire has me uh, coughing uncontrollably. I'm ultra sensitive to things, you know. By the way, if you prefer to run instead of walk, I recommend trying the dash ability. No shit. I didn't even think to do that when we were just walking around. But yeah, that's not a bad idea, though. If you need something from the map loving and map owning maps in, it must be a map, yes? Please feel free to take one with you. Sure, I'll take a map. That's pretty cool. You can get maps in this game. You're worried about Lighter Shack deep inside Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked that area on the map for you. Your maps been marked. Well, isn't that nice? Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, whoops. Silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? Check the map and you know... How do I put this? Fill in your... Fill your right index finger with a wish or strength. To put it more bluntly... Bluntly, I guess do something R button-ish? Please hurry and see it needs... Oh, shit. I didn't... Uh, 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 apparently when you R button in front of somebody, you talk to them. Wait. No? Oh, sorry. That was L button, dumbass. There's R button. Okay. Map is quick and easy. Got it. Flint, you took long enough. Go check out the fire quickly. Chop, chop. If the fire spreads here to Tess Millie Village, my honor and my estate, and I will all go up in smoke, literally. So go north. North, I say. North is as in north, south, east, west. Why do you force me to explain such simple things to you? North, south, east, west. Got it. I'm okay. If you say so. I'm going to go this way. Flint, the fire isn't that way. This is no time to get sidetracked. Okay, so we just got to go straight north right now. All right. Well, then let's fucking go north. Dang, man. Always force me to do whatever you want, game. God. Hey, another frog. Well, okay. Save your game. Sure. Why not? In fact, let's call that an episode. Ugh, yeah, I hate to do that, but you know what? I think that's about as good a place as any to intro this shit out. We don't know what we're about to encounter in the next episode. I don't know what those guys were. They were aliens, some dudes dressed up in suits. Uh, some other sort of creature, I don't know. But I imagine in the next episode we'll at least encounter them and figure out what the heck they're up to. We won't, I don't know if we'll figure out what the heck they are, but maybe we'll have a little more clear uh, clear idea of what they're up to besides throwing bombs in the forest. Like, are they trying to destroy somebody, something, some place? I don't know. But anyways, hope you guys are super hyped for this Let's Play because I'm actually very, very curious to see how interesting this game gets because this game is so beloved even more so than earthbound is and i'm very i just want to know why and i'm kind of glad you guys have pushed me to play this now because i want to know why i want to know why my friends and this is the beginning of that so in the next episode we continue on i will see you guys then peace